Good morning. We'll continue our discussion on the numerical problems in the third module. Question number four. A wall of a building foundation is three meter wide and carries 300 kilopascals UDL on 30 meter length. You're asked to compute the vertical stress along the center of the foundation three meter below it. So you have a three meter wide strip footing. It extends 30 meter perpendicular to the direction on the screen that you see and it carries 300 kilopascals of UDL and it has 3 meter width. You are asked to compute a stress at a point P, sigma ZP, which is 3 meter below the center of the strip. So I have marked theta angle here and the equation that would get you the answer is sigma zp equal to q by pi 2 theta plus sine 2 theta where theta is already marked here. So to get 2 theta you know tan theta equal to half of this width by the depth. So tan theta equal to b by z. The total width is capital B which is equal to 2 times small b. So half of its width is small b divided by z so b by z equal to tan theta equal to 1.5 by 3 so theta turns out to be around 26.56 degrees and q small letter q is already given as 300 kilopascals so q equal to 300 kilopascals and theta is 26.56 so all you have to do is to substitute these values into this equation. So 2 theta in radians is 0 0.926 and sine 2 theta is 0 0.79. So the answer turns out to be around 165 kilopascal. The only thing that you need to take here is to have consistent units here. So theta and sine 2 theta are two different entities so you'll have to have a consistent unit there. Next question, question number 5. A water tank is supported by a ring foundation of outer diameter 10 meter and inner diameter 7.5 meter. The ring foundation transmits uniform load intensity of 160 kilopascals. Find the vertical stress induced at 4 meter below the center of the foundation. So you have something that looks like this. You have the ring foundation. It looks like a donut and its outer diameter is 10 meter and inner diameter is 7.5 meter. So the dark brown color that you see is the area on which the load of 160 kilopascals is applied. And you're asked to find the vertical stress intensity at a point P. 4 meter below the center of the foundation. So basically you will have to find IC multiplied by Q of the outer minus IC multiplied by Q of the inner. So I've marked it as IC outer and IC inner because the load is only acting upon the ring and not the entire circle. It looks like a donut. So to get ICO you have R radius 5 meter and Z depth 4 meter. And to get ICI for the inner circle whose diameter is given as 7.5, you have the radius as 3.75. So you have a value for IC outer and IC inner. And all you have to do is to substitute in this equation. And the value of sigma ZP that you get is 23.11 kilopascals. So basically what you've done is you have subtracted the value of the vertical stress intensity due to one circular area from the other. Next question. The base of a tower consists of an equilateral triangle in the shape of a tripod. The total weight of the tower is 600 kilonewton equally carried by the three legs. Compute the stress at a point 5 meter below one of the legs. Assume the edges of a triangle as 6 meter. So you have 
an equilateral triangle in plan like this a b c are the three legs the plan is given here equilateral and each side is given as six meters and it's a tripod which looks like this in elevation you have a b and c and the total weight is given as 600 kilonewton equally carried by the three legs so each leg will transfer 600 by 3 200 kilonewton at the point where it is in contact with the ground and you are asked to compute the stress the vertical stress at a point p which is five meter below one of the legs let's take that leg as c so let's say that you have a point which is five meter below c and let that point be p and you're asked to compute the vertical stress at point p so obviously c will have an effect a will have another effect and b will have another effect on vertical stress of p the loads transferred on the ground level are equal 200 200 and 200 but point p has got different radial distances to c a and b so i've marked and listed that in a table here a b and c r and z r is the radius z is the depth z remains constant five meters but a b and c will be at different radial directions and distances from point p a is at six meter b is at six meter c is zero meters so the vertical stress sigma z p will be a sum of sigma p a plus sigma p b plus sigma p c which means vertical stress at point p due to load at point c vertical stress at point p due to load at point a and vertical stress at point p due to load at point b so sigma p a plus p b plus p c will add up to give you sigma z p let's take sigma p a first the first term the first term will have the radius 6 meter and depth 5 meter and the load will be 200 which is 600 by 3 so this is basically the Businesk equation ib is marked within the bracket q is 200 z square is 5 square ib q by z square q is 600 by 3 z is always 5 meter here the only difference in each of sigma p a p b and p c will be these terms highlighted in yellow 3 by 2 pi 1 by 1 plus r by z square r is 6 meter in case of sigma p a and in case of sigma p b again it's 6 meters and in case of sigma p c it is 0 meters so 0 by 5 is r by z so you have three terms sigma p a p b and p c and solving this and adding them together you'll get sigma z p as 4.64 kilopascals approximately i would suggest you to work this problem on your own and try to see whether you are getting a value similar to the one that's displayed in this next question an elevated structure of 10,000 kilonewton is supported by four legs of a tower in the form of a square of six meter side. Find the stress at a point seven meter below the center of the entire structure. Quite analogous to the previous question. The difference here is that in plan, it's not a triangle. Instead, it's a square whose side is six meters. A, B, C, D, let's say in plan, has sides six meters and its total load is 10,000 kilonewton supported on four legs you're asked to compute the stress at a point seven meter below the center of the entire structure which means the point where the diagonals meet is the center of the entire structure you're asked to compute the vertical stress at a point seven meters below the center of the entire structure so i've 
mark the elevation here a b c d are four legs and its plan looks like this you will have 10,000 kilonewton distributed and shared equally so 10,000 divided by 4 will be the load again this is an application of the Bosinski equation so you'll have to have radius r depth z and load q load q on each of these legs will be 10,000 by 4 that's 2,500 radius will be the same radius is marked r here so ap equal to bp equal to cp equal to dp will be the radius which is half the diagonal so half the diagonal will be the radius ap is equal to r equal to bp equal to dp equal to cp will be half its diagonal and there will be 4.24 meters and the vertical stress at point p sigma zp will be the sum of sigma pa pb pc and pd that is the vertical stress at point p due to load at b the vertical stress at point p due to load at a and d and c etc so that's basically four times sigma p a because each of these will be equal because p is uniformly influenced by d a b and c because they are at the same radial distance and at the same depth as you can see from this section so it's basically four times sigma p a was sigma p a is i b into q by z square q is 10,000 by 4 that's 2,500 z is 5 meters already given in the question and radius r will be a p that's 4.24 meters so this term that you see within the bracket is i b and you have q by z square so sigma p a will have this value and 4 times sigma p a will be sigma z p and the value turns out to be around 44.6 kilopascal the final answer again i would suggest you to work this problem on your own and try to see whether you are getting a similar value next question is an assignment question number eight a rectangular fo footing six meter by three meter in plan transmits a pressure of 16 kilopascal to the soil you're asked to calculate the vertical stress at a point 0 0.5 meter below the center of the foundation you'll have to submit this as an assignment